The gear in my backpack is under continuous development, but some pieces of gear, they just not stay for long. I already did the uh, best gear from past season, but today it is all about the gear I'm totally over in 2022 and that I have no plans to introduce again anytime soon. Hi and welcome to a new episode and if you're new to the channel this channel is all about hiking, gear reviews, tips and tricks and backpacking thoughts and if that is something you like don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Don't we all have gear just laying around that we just use for a short while and gear we thought to be the perfect choice but turned out to be just crap or at least not as good as expected. Some of them we keep for a while anyways because gear are not for free and maybe we don't have the money to spend on new gear. Anywho, today I will talk about four pieces of gear I am totally over in 2022 and what I have replaced them with and why. Now, the gear that I have replaced may be one of your favorites and the gear that I've chosen instead maybe you think is crap. So I'm not saying that this gear is good for anyone else but me but for me they have worked out just fine and they made it possible for me to enjoy my hikes even more so without further ado let me present to you the first pieces of gear i'm totally over in 2022 the first gear i'm totally over is a pair of waterproof over mittens yep i feel i can totally do without and I hardly ever use them, despite them being in my backpack like all the time. I think the only time it really come in handy was that when a friend of mine forgot his gloves and he borrowed mine instead. No, I am totally over them and I have no need to have a pair of waterproof over mittens in my pack. Instead, I'm keeping my hands warm by using a pair of neoprene gloves. Now I know I'm going to be wet, but so far that has been no problem. I'd rather be wet and warm and be able to use my hands with the gloves on than the need to take them off all the time if I need to do anything. With my neoprene gloves on, I can do everything I need to do during the hike and in camp. I can even use my phone to take photos and also my camera. The one that I use is the Neoprene Runner All Weather Glove from Hestra at 48 grams. A glove I truly do recommend you trying out. The number two on the gear I am totally over in 2022 is the Tricology Olive 2.0 pillow. Sure, it is a great pillow, it truly is. It is really cheap and one of the better choices out there. I've been using this for a couple of years now and I really thought I had found the one. It has a strap and everything so it will stay in place during the night and have good enough support and a soft and stretchy fabric so it is really comfortable and I recommend this pillow to a lot of people. But by luck and luck only I got my hands on a different pillow that really changed the way I sleep on my hikes and that are very comfortable and weigh like nothing. The Dream Sleeper pillow from Big Sky at 44 grams. Yep, the Dream Sleeper. And no, it doesn't have a problem with leakage anymore. And no, this is not a bag in box kind of pillow you can make yourself. The Dream Sleeper is made out of highly elastic TPU material, also good enough for lower temperatures like winter camping. And it is super comfy and ergonomical. Normally I use it together with my buff as a pillowcase so I always get a good night's sleep with this combination and I really truly do recommend you trying it out if you can get your hands on one because they're like always sold out on their webpage. Number three is the Espit stove. Oh my god I'm so over the Espit right now. I used it on a couple of hikes last year and sure, it is a good stove if it's not raining, if there is no wind and like perfect conditions, then it is a good stove. And sure, the weight of the fuel is great, but the time it takes to get a boil, especially if it is windy, it takes like forever. And then if you want to make another cup of water for your coffee or whatever, you need to add two more espits and start all over again. That is just too much fuss and too smelly 
for me. Sure, I will use it on occasion because I have a lot of fuel at home, so I don't want that to go to waste. But otherwise, I have changed back to gas. Yep, a top mount canister stove, the Soto Amicus at 80 grams. Yep, this little guy is my favorite and the one I always come back to after trying different options. Once I wanted to go lighter and I tried the BRS stove and oh boy, that was a really bad stove. Sure, it is lightweight and it works just fine as long as there's no wind because then you are in trouble. Another time I wanted to go for alcohol stoves, but that is actually worse than S-Bits. Even if it is super fun to make your own soda can stoves and such, the fuel is heavy and it takes a long time to get a boil and you cannot use it inside your vestibule. But gas, I mean it is so easy, just turn it on and you have a boil within a couple of minutes. No smell, no soot, no fuss. I just love canister stoves and especially the Soto Amicus. Sure, the Windmaster is a better choice, but also heavier and more expensive. So unless I get a problem with my Amicus, it will stay in my bag. Number four on my list and last for today before we wrap things up is rain pants. Now you might think that this guy is crazy. No rain pants? Hmm. But stay with me here, there's nothing wrong with rain pants. But you most of the time need to take your shoes off to take the pants on. And they don't breathe at all, making you sweat like a pig if it is warm outside and if you pick up your pace. No, I just hate rain pants and I have replaced them with a rain kilt. Yep, a rain kilt. There's nothing better than a rain kilt. Sure, you can get stuck on some branches while walking, but is it a big problem? No, I believe it is not. And sure, you will get wet from the knees and down, but adapt to it and choose a quick drying pant instead. And there will be no problem. The benefits are so much greater than the downsides. You will not get sweaty because it breathes very well and it is super easy to take on and off. There's no need to take off your shoes or anything. And it is lightweight. My Yanayoto rain skirt weighs in at 88 grams. I truly do recommend you giving rain kilt a try. That's it really, that's my four pieces of gear that I'm totally over in 2022 and what I use instead. Now it would be really fun and interesting to hear all about your gear that you don't use anymore and what you use instead and why by leaving a comment. But for now, this is it. And if you liked today's episode, take a look at these two recommendations on my other videos. Also do hit like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. I hope to see you again next week. But for now, bye bye and safe hike.